What's going on? What's going on? How's everybody doing this evening? Hello, hello, hello. It is Soft Plastic Sunday. Oh yeah. We are just getting set up here. Give me a brief second. I appreciate all of you who are cruising in right now. Very much appreciated. Just give me a minute here. I'm just trying to trying to get these Pyrex cups together, cleaned out, ready for some plastisol. I hope everyone had a really good weekend. David Williams, first one in the chat. What is going on? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Like I said, I'm just cleaning up over here. I was messing around with some of my hollow shift powders yesterday so I got some of the leftovers from that here getting that stuff all ready you don't need to see any of that stuff you're, you're not I mean you wouldn't be interested in that stuff I don't think so I thought we would uh, have some fun tonight now, I do have a large order for some curly tail grubs, so we could get into that. It's a new mold to play with. I got some ideas. Steve Griffin's in the chat. What's going on, everybody? Here we go. 15 viewers right out of the gate. I know. You know, I didn't post it earlier. Usually, I try and post it a couple hours ahead. I was actually, I just woke up from a nap with my wife, and uh, she was like, aren't you going to live stream tonight? And I was like, oh, crap, yes. Yes, yes I am. And we are. Hello. So you have her to thank for me being here tonight, otherwise I would have just slept right through it. Johnny's in the house. What's going on? Oh! Oh! Check it out, Frank. What's going on? How you doing? Y'all ready for this? Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Randy, just in time. Check this out. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. No longer must we suffer through not being able to see baits. We got an autofocus close-up cam. The problem is it needs the autofocus. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Speaking of hollow shift powders, these are actually two, two samples. So you're actually getting a sneak peek. This is the blue to purple here. Oh, there's some of the blue. You can kind of see it. Oh yeah. Beautiful stuff. Anyways, when we do our baits now, we have a close-up cam, so we can finally see what the baits look like up close and in true 1920 by 1080p with autofocus. So we don't got to worry about crummy colors anymore. So yeah, quality's good here. I mean, colors slightly. F it's a webcam, right? So bait chucking sticker for reference. If it would ever autofocus. There we go. So you can see the color. See, it's the glare gets it. We're trying, folks. Okay, we got shiny baits, bright lights, lots of sparkling. 
cameras don't like lights reflecting directly into them if you can't tell so anyways so yes we have close-up cam so we'll be able to utilize that in the live streams moving forward so we can you can get a much better look instead of just me I mean I could do this forever too just hold them up but I mean you know this is only gonna get you so much I love see it sucks because the cameras never do these justice I got to get these can you see green to pink in there I know you can see that pink and then there's the green to goldish yellow this is one of my favorite ones this one looks very opalescent cool I, I got lots more info coming on these in the future very soon we're cooking with gas over here All right, let me get caught up with chat here. Frank's in the house. David's here. Randy's here. Randy, I would love to do a collab with Johnny. Um, if you're down, Johnny. I do have... Was it in my other cabinet? I do have the 7-inch Angling AI open pour. So, we could easily go at it at, with the, uh, the Angling AI 7-inch swim bait if you're down Johnny I'd love to do a trade right see Johnny knows exactly what I'm talking about it's like especially the hyper shifts right Johnny because I know you have the alpha pigments over there and some of these chameleons they're like amazing in person and the, like no matter how good the camera it just does no justice compared to like seeing it in real life you know it's yeah into the woods is here. What's going on? Into the woods. How you doing? Speaking of Into the Woods, I have another collab video coming up with Into the Woods as well. So stay tuned for that. All right. See, so look at that. Johnny's lined up. So we got a collab. Now we're going to do one with Johnny. We'll do a seven. Uh, seven and a half or seven and a quarter you know the big the big angling AI swim bait um, Johnny and I can do that I got something cool coming up with uh, into the woods he's doing some custom jigs over there all right so yeah I don't know I was gonna have some fun with some grubs I have an order I need to complete Okay. I'm working on an order for someone else here, another YouTuber. And there's a lot of these are laminates, but I need to experiment. I don't really want to do the experimentation live on stream, but you know, laminating the curly tail mold, seeing how that does, you know, kind of top to bottom. We kind of tried it last week. We got more of a swirl effect, and I think that's because one side of the injector was clogged. You know what I just realized? I still got this music cranked way up. I'm so sorry about that. Y'all are probably trying to hear me talk over the music. I'm horrible about that, you know, because it, it's jamming in my headphones, and I'm, like, rocking out, and I just looked over, and I saw the music completely blaring. Hopefully... That is a lot easier. Let me know in the chat. If you need me to lower it a little more, I will. I will. So. Um, anyways. So, yeah. What I was talking about was potentially laminating this. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be laminating some whip wads without the hook slot. Um, so, we'll use those to some of the laminates. But, there's some colors here. I would love to, like, who wants a chartreuse pearl, an iridescent pearl, I think those would be fun to do. Um, I have those here. Um, what do I mean by chartreuse pearl? Like, I think it'd be cool. I was to get that out now. There's chartreuse shad, which is really that's like a chartreuse that has like goldish copper in it. But I was thinking more of you know, what if we took something like the MF transparent chartreuse that's like see-through 
and mix that with like some silver pearl or you know we I, I, that's the thing I, I assume it's going to be more chartreuse and some pearl in there so i don't know how that would work that might be fun to experiment tonight uh iridescent pearl i mean that's pretty easy i mean we just take an iridescent pearl from mf or uh lure works here we got plenty of powders and stuff to do that um i'm also thinking another route we could go for a, a pearl chart chartreuse pearl is uh, we have the transparent chartreuses we also have snow shine from dead on which is a good uh, you know that adds a lot of you know shimmer to it uh, it'll give it that pearlescent feel but without maybe the cloudiness of pearl so that could still potentially keep the you know the transparency going uh, so I've been tossing that around I'm trying to think about ways to kind of attack a chartreuse pearl uh, he referenced a Strike King color, I believe. Strike King has a Chartreuse Pearl, and I don't, I don't have any of that. Um, so this is really me. I mean, I guess I could look it up on Taco Warehouse, but I, you know, I mean, come on. I like to shoot from the hip. I like to do things together. All right, into the woods of sand. Small touch of gold pearl really makes chartreuse look good. All right. All right. Can someone give me a thumbs up in the chat? Audio good? Oh, like mic to music? Is the music too loud? Too quiet? Let me know. Okay. All right, let's... We're almost out. Look at that. So we're going to be using the MF. Uh, it's the original floating. Down to my last little bit here. Um, these are grubs. So, you know, if they're going to be swam on the back of a jig, not a big deal. It doesn't really matter if it's floating or not. Um, but in case he, you know, wants to text shrig them or something like that, it'd be nice to have the tail floating up. Uh, I was throwing uh, up at our slough uh, some of the methylate grubs and the smallmouth were going nuts for them. So I've never thrown methylate before. It was pretty cool. Really like it. That's kind of like that neon pinkish orange. Alright. There's one cup. Two cups. There we go. I do like the MF five gallons. The fact that they got the handle and they come with a spout. Uh, you know, it's, you, you can still screw off the big nozzle and get in there with the drill. Um, I tend to just take it, shake it, shake it up real good. Lots of different ways you can go about that. I'm just, I keep a, a paper towel here on the ground to catch any drippage. Because, I don't know if any of you know, or have spilt plastisol onto a garage tile floor before, but it gets very slippery very quickly. So. All right. All right, everyone says all good. Sounds good. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you for the sound check. I have to rely on you, chat, okay? I got to rely on you for all this. Oh, okay, so it looks like Johnny has some experience with the methylate. All right. Yeah, I'd never thrown it before. I had heard about it, and um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty sweet color. Okay, I'm just gonna move these molds over here for right now. I've got a bunch of molds in the way, so I apologize. I'm just trying to clear out some room here, so it's not crowded on the uh, the bench.
All right. Now, pretty soon... Here, we can put that one back there. We'll just do one at a time. Pretty soon, there'll be a nice air vice here. And we won't have to, you know, worry about all these nasty clamps. Let's get the curly... Getting the curly tail grub all clamped up. And I guess, you know, why waste time? I mean, let's just get one. One of these right in the microwave. What do you say? Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, I also would like to... Uh... Let's see, is it on here? Oh, it's not on here. I can't do it yet. But we have a second member to the channel. And I don't have that person's name right up in front of me. I thought it would have showed up in the history here on my mini feed for Streamlabs, but it doesn't. But you're not alone anymore, Randy. We have a second member of the Squid Squadron. So shout out to our second channel member for all the support. Appreciate that. Okay, let's set this back over here so we don't lose it. No worries, All Up is Outdoors. Hey, come back. That's what the replay's for. Come back and catch it tomorrow. I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. Oh, Johnny, dude, I can work with you on the transitions, man. Um, is... Uh, you can get some made up real easy. You can use a bunch of pre-made ones. Uh, start learning to use either Streamlabs OBS or just plain OBS for live streaming. Game changer. Game changer. You can even, once you get comfortable with OBS, even if you want to use something uh, a little more simpler, which I'll probably end up doing in a little bit, StreamYard, you can set OBS to actually feed into StreamYard so you can still get the transitions and still pull up people's chats that's the nice thing about Streamyard is you know you can highlight so much chat on the bottom of the screen you see a lot of people do that in their live streams so lots of ways we could go I love live streaming what's great for me is the live streaming kind of carries directly over from the video game space which is you know where I just worked in for many years so I love it I love putting on a production okay here we are Two minutes in, and we should be re yep, right at the cusp of that gel phase there. We'll get that stirred in a little bit. Yeah, see, we're sitting right at 343. Beautiful stuff. And here, check this out. Because people were asking before, is your plastisol yellow? And I was trying to show them that, like, no, look how crystal clear that is. It is not yellow plastisol. It, the MF, it's it like captures light. I don't know how to explain it. Um, you ever seen like a piece of PVC where it's kind of more, or not PVC, but like Lexan or something where the edges light up? It's kind of like how this type of plastic is. But you can see it is, it's crystal clear in there. But then you take it over here. See that? It captures the surrounding light and it looks yellow. So so someone had commented on that. But that's the nice thing about having that close-up cam now is we finally get, you know, we can see the real deal. We're going to hit that. 20 more so what do we decide we're going to do are we doing transparent chartreuse i mean if that's the case i got to get it down i have lure work chartreuse dye or should we do the transparent i mean this is great chat what what chartreuse are we hurry up i need i need some some 
tactics here. Which color are we going with? I got hot plastic all ready to roll. I didn't even think about what color we were going to use. This is no bueno. Nothing. I haven't shaken anything. I got ahead of myself with heating this up. I'll tell you what. Let's go. Snatch and Lips is in the house. Tackle Junkies in here. Oh my goodness. We're actually working on uh, Chartreuse Pearl right now. Oh, I got something, something in my eye. Mm. Okay, um, I need to get the freaking step stool because I didn't realize we were going for transparent chartreuse. So now I got to go all the way up on the top shelf, and I'm short. So you all are just gonna have to deal with me being short, okay? And that's the way it is. All right. So we want transparent fluorescent chartreuse all the way in the back upper corner here. Too many colors, I'm telling you. All right, here we go. Transparent fluorescent chartreuse. This is the one everyone's asking for. Okay, now. Are we throwing, are we doing silver pearl or are we going to throw snow shine in there? Let me know, chat. What are we doing? Which one are we doing? I'm shaking this the best I can here in the short time. We got ahead of ourselves getting this plastisol hot, I'm telling you. That's right. I'm going to buy us another 20 seconds. All right. What are we doing? Tell me, chat. Are we doing silver pearl, or are we doing snow shine? Snow shine. I'm seeing a lot. Okay, we're doing it. Snow shine. Transparent chartreuse, and so oh, this is going to be a badass chartreuse pearl. All right, let's do it. Plenty. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, start with 20 drops. If you're counting at home, yeah, I went 30. Typically because, oh, God, I love this color. So, okay, see, look, we got the close-up cam now. Oh, I love this close-up cam. Oh, it's so neon. It's sort of getting picked up there. Look at that. That is super neon bright chartreuse. You can kind of see it right there on the knife a little bit. Hmm. Super chartreusey. It looks good. In, oh, there. You, oh, here we go. Main camera. Look at that. Huh? And you can. It's like transparent. You can see through it. You can still see the writing on the stick through the glass. Yeah, yeah, transparent chartreuse, amazing color. All right, and you know, we're dumping another amazing color right into it, snow shine. And you don't need much with snow shine, so we'll start off with 10 drops. And to be honest, that may be too much. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we're going to need more. I see what it's doing. Five, six, six. All right, we're 20 drops in.
Here we go. You know what, though, folks? The snow shine put a lot of sparkle into it. You can see that shimmer. But it's not... We may still need some silver pearl. And I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm probably gonna add ten drops of silver pearl. Alright. Hoodstar wants to see both for a comparison. We're gonna get a combo. Alright, we're about to get a combination here. Right, Johnny, you can't get enough. You can't get enough. Okay. Let's do... Okay, there's 10 drops of silver pearl. There we go. Okay. That's all we needed. Now, the pearl obviously made it slightly more opaque. Okay. But we have a pearl effect in there now. But you know what I do want to add? Because I see Snatch and Lips in there. And he's talking about a dash of gunmetal. And I kind of like that. I want to make it, I want to dirty it up a little bit. So I'm just going to put a couple drops of mine dust in there. Alright. I'm going to put a couple drops of mine dust, dirty it up a little bit. This, these are going to be some sexy grubs. Okay, there's five drops of mine dust. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, this, this has a beautiful sheen to it now. Okay. That's great. Can you all see that sheen in there? You see that silver swirly-whirly? That's a nice chartreuse pearl. Alright, so we did, what, 30 drops of transparent fluorescent chartreuse, 10 drops of silver pearl, uh, 5 drops of mine dust, and I think we had 20 drops of the snow shine as well. Lots of transparent colors, so this is still very see-through. Okay, so we'll hit this in the microwave. We'll give it 30 seconds, and then we will vacuum it out. Well, Firebrand, I know, I guess I could do a video on it, but, you know, this live stream, that's the beauty of the archives. If you go back and check out the live stream archive playlist, or if you go to the channel page, YouTube has everything segmented. You go under lives and it has all the live streams there. Each live we do like a different color and we've come up with some amazing colors. You should have seen the last live stream we did. We came up with an amazing Arkansas shiner, or not Arkansas, goodness gracious, Tennessee shiner. It was gold on top and uh, mil monkey milk on the bottom. It was fantastic. Okay. Put this in the vacuum chamber. There we go. All right, that's off and running. 40 people in the chat. That's what's going on. Everybody, please smack the thumbs up button. If you want to participate in the chat, all you got to do is click that subscribe button. It's free. All I ask is that you subscribe if you're participating here in the chat. And uh, yeah. Thank you. I Look, it's Sunday night. I appreciate all of you hanging out on a Sunday, taking time out of your day to hang out with us here in the bait cave, making some baits. That is bubbling up nicely. We're not going to overflow. Fantastic. I love a nice, clean vacuum. I know you bait makers know exactly what I'm talking about.
All right, I'm just catching up with chat. Let's. Good morning from Finland, Juna. How you doing? Welcome, Marking. What's going on? Lane Davies. What's up? Todd Smith in the house. Chris Elliott. Kicker Worms. You caught it live, Kicker. You finally made it. What's going on, brother? All right, that looks good. I see no more bubbles. All right, we're almost ready, folks. Let's check our injector. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We gotta, we gotta grease that up. That needs a couple drops. A little dab will do ya. It don't take much. All right, give her a little twist. There we go. Don't forget your end caps. A little dab on there. I'll do you as well. Beautiful. All right. Injector ready to roll. Let's get you switched over. We are all set here. Look at that, huh? Beautiful, bubble free. All right, we'll give that 20 seconds in the microwave. Our mold is set to go. We're good. We are ready to inject. Let's get a glove ready. See that? See all that? That's why you glove up. That's a lot of burnt skin if you weren't wearing gloves. All right, folks, here we go. We are good. Oh, yeah, we're sitting at 360. Beautiful. And I find with the MF plastics, it likes to run a little hotter, so you can shoot it a little hotter. Okay, here we go. Five inch curly tail grubs in the chartreuse pearl colorway that we just made up here. All right, holding a little bit of pressure, making sure all those tails get filled in. These five inch curly tail grubs have a nice hefty tail so you got to make sure you hold that little bit of pressure at the end and it will drink it's already drinking right now so make sure to keep it topped off because this does not have a very long sprue I've noticed and if you don't top off relatively quick you can sometimes lose that top one or two a uh, grub to an air bubble, depending on, you know, what you're tossing. Oh, gosh, that's... This is this is why I love this transparent chartreuse. Like, tackle junkie, I don't know if you're still in the house or not. But look at that. That looks straight up like Slimer from the Ghostbusters. All right? This injector just got slimed. And you can still see through it. Light. This is an amazing color. A lot of people use it. They use it on the tails. I mean, this stuff is awesome. The transparent chartreuse. And with that pearl in there. I think it's going to do really good. Oh yeah. That's very subtle. Very, very subtle. I like it. Let's get back over here so we can demold, huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Sucked it down in there a little bit. All right, we are ready to demold.
this out of the way here. You see there what I mean? See how it drank up a little bit? That already went sucked down in. All right, here we go. 50 viewer hype in the chat. That's what's going on. Make sure to smack that thumbs up button. Oh, oh, is it going to play nice for us? Yes. Yes, it did. Look at that. Wow. Huh? All right, let's see what the close-up cam has to say. Let's check the close-up cam. There we go. You can kind of see the pearl in there, too. Look at that. Can you see that pearl effect in there, that shininess? I know it's not picking up on the neon like the other cameras, but you can see there. There, you can see that shimmer. Yeah. Beautiful. So you can see how bright they really are on this camera. And then they got that, that pearl sheen to it there. You can see it in the tails a little bit. Yeah, Kicker Worms is exactly right in the chat. Some some molds just need sprue extensions, you know? Um, and once we get to production phase, we're definitely going to need them. Look at that. Look at the big... See, and I hate... Where's my scissors? I've gotten in the habit now when I'm sending baits out to customers. I just like to come in and snip them. I don't know. I just like that that clean look. Look at that grub, huh? Is that not grub perfection? And that tail... If I can line it up there. Well, you can see in the mold. I mean, that is a significant size tail in relation to the actual body of the grub itself. So you get this awesome, big, super whippy tail. As I mentioned, we were throwing these in methylate, and uh, the smallmouth were tearing them up in our sloop. All right, so I'm just getting these clipped off. And I think we'll do another round. I almost wonder if I should pour some worms or something in this. Okay, that goes over there. Got some splatter everywhere, huh? All right. Sorry, folks. This is this is just the part of the the live bait making where I got it organized. I got to get a cookie sheet ready here. Okay, I like to lay all my baits out on cookie sheets. It's just the way I roll. I don't like to hang them. Uh, I like to lay them flat to each their own. I'm not saying it's uh, it's not better, it's not worse. It just depends on the style of bait. Um, but when it comes to things like this with a tail, I just like to lay out. Uh, and it works out for me because my windows right here and the way I stack, I can stack, you know, all the trays perpendicular to one another. Uh, and just throughout, you know, the course of a day or two, just the nice air flows over them. Um, they actually do get a little bit of sun in the late afternoon. So they get a little bit of, you know, UV curing from the sun. It also gives them a little bit of uh, heat expansion and contraction from warming up with the sun and then being cool at night. So, um, yeah, I just feel like it gets some prepped, you know, for actual use in the wild. And I've never had any issues. Except for when the grubs don't want to participate because of their big old flappy tails. 
There we go. Boom. Six scrubs down. Six more to go. We'll get this cup ready for another injection. So, now, we'll do these two here. Just in the transparent chartreuse. But, I saw someone earlier mention something about gold flake did I read that correctly so maybe we can add some gold flake in there Tim Juan is in the house said he hiked a few miles today around a small lake caught only one fish but she got some exercise in and that's what counts Tim you know All right, snatching saying four inch finesse worms. We could absolutely throw some four inch finesse worms into the mix. You know, ooh, I bet these would also look good in a, uh, the drop shot leech. I bet drop shot leech would look pretty good. That's right there in that same category as the four inch finesse. Okay. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. Now, when I reheat plastic up, okay, I do it in small spurts. Now, I know I goose it right in the beginning. I go two minutes straight in. But when I'm reheating, I usually go in 30 seconds or less increments. So I can see this here. You see it's still pretty clumpy. It's hot. I know it's probably up to temperature. But we still got some big, gooey clumps like that. So... I'm gonna go in for 20 seconds. Okay? Don't be afraid. Ooh, see that? That was almost bad. All right. Don't be afraid to go in for short amounts of time on your microwave. Okay? You don't need to blast it every time for a minute, two minutes at a time. All right, Lane Davies. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Sweet Boys is saying not gold flake. Try orange flake. Randy is seconding the orange. Okay, all right. Uh, I have Lureworks Golden Orange up there. I think I also so I have the .040 as well as the um I believe the .015. And I I do have the Dead Flakes as well, but they're further up and put away. I just don't have them easily accessible. Well, the only reason they're not out is I just don't have enough shelf space and drawer space right now but i'm looking at trying to improve my shelf situation here so i can get more in the space i may rebuild this whole section over here i've still not decided yet yeah that needs a little bit more we're still still a little chunky for my taste we're gonna give it 15 seconds this time Yes, Juna, I will absolutely make videos about the open pour molds. I actually have a hot plate on the way, uh, a fishing all out hot plate. So there's going to be lots of open pours. I have uh, a ton. I've been building up my collection. Um, we have the boss, the epic boss, the epic stud, the epic pud, the aggressive aggro, um, the nugget. We have the, uh, the open pour um, mullet. We have some Ailing AI open pour molds as well. So there'll be lots of open pour coming up. Because I really feel the only two pioneers we got pushing the open pours right now. We got uh, Chris Jones, obviously, from World Wars Fishing. And we have Johnny, who's here in with us tonight, Sweet Boys Outdoors. The two of them are the only ones I really see doing some hardcore open pour content so you know I hope to be in there with you fellas soon just waiting for my big old hot plate to show up um, alright let's get some music going again here what I need to do is get back in and make some longer playlists it's really what I just ultimately have to do oh look at this Artlist decides it wants me to re-sign in again Right in the middle of a live stream. Thank you, Artlist. I really appreciate that. Such a 
fantastic service that I pay so much money for on a yearly basis. You think you would know who I am? Oh, and it put the volume way up there too. All right, there we go. Okay, and we were we're a little. I don't see. This is the painful part. All right, see, this is why I typically don't do the reheats on the live stream because I do it slow. All right, I do it low and slow. We'll do. We need another 15. We're at like 320. Okay, I want to get it up a little bit higher. Okay. It's a thin tail, so I wanted to really get in there and fill out that big tail. Hey, Juna. Um, you know, there was no live stream last week just because I had a lot going on, to be 100% honest. Um, I, My goal is to stream every Sunday night at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That's my goal. Um, some Sundays, I just don't make it. And, you know, I probably should have posted it and you know that i wasn't going to make it and i didn't and i feel bad because other people left comments as well and they're like hey like are you live streaming tonight you know like a couple people hit me up on instagram and i didn't post anywhere that i wasn't going live so um i apologize for that sometimes you know just stuff stuff happens where we are you know we're not to get you too much into the personal life but uh we're in the middle of changing a fuel tank on my son's car right now. So that's a whole big issue right now we're dealing with. So it's taking up a lot of my my time. So Okay, we are ready to shoot. Up the temp. I need a glove. Because ain't no love without the glove. Here we go. Round two of the chartreuse pearl grubs. Okay, and looks like next round we're gonna put some orange flake in here, I guess, huh? Is that what you guys all want? All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nothing like a clean injector, huh? There we go. All right, look at this. We still got 45 viewers in here. Look at that. Ah, uh, Predator Tech caught it in the chat. The mold is mismatched. See, you caught it. Luckily, I did too. I was about to pour that stuff hot. I wasn't going to say anything. I saw it and flipped it over, and I just talked right through it. But no, you see, chat catches everything. You can't sneak nothing by live chat. That's kind of why I like you all so much. Keep, you keep me in check, you know? That's something that usually only my wife can do. But live chat will keep you honest. I have learned. Isn't that right, chat? Ooh. See, this is the good and the bad thing about working with different plastisols. I like the MF Plastisol because it it hardens up quicker than the dead-on plastics. Um, however, it becomes a royal pain in the ass when you're trying to shoot a bunch of molds at once because it cools down, clogs your injector. So, like, if you're going to, like, you have two or three molds and you can just dump it quick, awesome. Um... The dead on I find is way better. So like when I'm doing my swim baits and I have to go like, you know, I got two molds of six ports each because I'm doing top down swim baits. Dead on is just easier to kind of go right down the line. So, you know, there's benefits to using more than one brand of Plastisol. 
in your shop I found there each one has their strengths and weaknesses depending on you know what you're doing and what you're going for etc so I like I like being able to be open and use them all you know what I mean I don't want to limit myself okay here we go we're on the right camera yeah we are okay good oh yeah oh don't get stuck in there mm. another beautiful set Flappy curly tail grubs love it Just gonna cut these off here. All right. So, what color are we doing next? Well, are we gonna do the the orange? You guys got? I know there's a little bit of delay. That's why I'm asking now while I'm cutting these. It takes like 15 seconds or so for chat to catch up. But let me know what y'all think. Are we just gonna we gonna dump some orange glitter in next? Or are we gonna move on to another color? Let me know. You guys control the show. This is, this is all about audience participation. That's why I do the live stream. I like hanging out with you all just as much as you like hanging out in the live chat. So. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now look at this. This is why I like the MF plastic. You see how it like it captures the light and you get that highlight on the edges, on the ridges. See how the the ridge is brighter than when it's flat like that? You see that? The plastisol captures the light and traps it inside. You can see up here in the base a lot of the reflections too. And I I think, okay, now I haven't really gotten the detail with Mixed Master J on this, but it makes sense based on a lot of their colors being more transparent than dead on because the plastisol is that way. It captures light. So this is why their colors look good in their plastisol. Uh, dead on has probably the best set of solid colors on the market. That's why I got their whole set. So, you know, you use, you just need solid bases. Um, meaning like a solid opaque color it's hard to beat dead on I mean you put 20 drops in you, you can't even see through it um, and they have a bunch of you know pearls and stuff like that but dead on doesn't really have any translucent colors right that's more MF and lure works has a bunch as well in their dyes the problem though with as you all know with the trans typically the more transparent the color the more it bleeds so uh, Into the Woods actually has a whole series going right now comparing the bleeding versus non-bleeding. He just did some blues and greens. You see how it does that there? Can you see how you see the ridge lines? That's why I like it. All right, Sweet Boys is saying orange flake. Everyone's saying orange flake, orange flake. We can do red for the next color, New Mexico City. Absolutely. Okay, so everyone wants to see orange flake. We can do that. All right, let's get that set up. Do I have orange flake in the... Uh... I might not have it in small. We may only have it in the, in the large. I mean, which is fine. I mean, the medium, 0 0.040, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Back to the step ladder. Ugh. All right.
Is this what we're after? Lore works golden orange. Yeah. Do we want Okay, people are saying copper and orange. Do we want 0 0.04 for the large and do we want copper for the uh Cuz I can do that. I can do copper in the 0.15. So we can do we can do that. Huh? Sixteenth of each, what do you say? Yeah? I dig it. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Alright, we got forty five seconds on the clock. The dogs are going crazy. Must be a Awesome or some crap in the backyard. What book? Talking about this book? This this little book right here? Kicker? The one with all the recipe? This one? All that see you can't see it from back there, it's a shame secret y'all don't have one of these if you don't have one of these I mean can you even call yourself a bait maker if you ain't got yourself a little black recipe book I mean it doesn't have to be a black recipe book but a recipe book of any color you gotta write your recipes down somewhere I mean, I'm all for getting artsy fartsy. Trust me, we've done it here on the live stream, but you know. Ooh, we got real close. Real close. I know you guys can't see it. I don't have the camera flipped over. I didn't want to bore you yet, because I knew we were going to have to do it for another 15 seconds, okay? All right. Go easy on me. I'm excited to see what the orange and the copper look like. Once again, we're going with chat, and it will most likely turn out completely badass, because that's what chat usually does. Comes up with awesome colors. One of my favorites was we put that gold sparkle flake in the uh, creek chub. Oh, that was a good, that was a good episode. Okay, bait station, here we go. Okay, we're going with the copper first. Okay, there you go. Center your screen there. All right, and then the orange. And we'll do an eighth of the orange because that's a little bit bigger. So you don't get as much in there. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, hey now. Well, now isn't that doing some funky stuff? Y'all see that? That is very cool. Yeah, the orange definitely takes on a goldish hue. Very cool. Do you think we need anything else in there to break it up, or do you think we leave it just like that? I mean, it looks sick just like that. We don't have to do anything. Look, oh yeah, look at that, huh? Y'all see that sparkle in there? That's cool. Just like that, full. S everyone says full send. All right. Okay, we're at 320. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick it in the microwave for 15 seconds. Warm it up. We've got our clamps on. 
We're gonna full send it. I like your style, chat. Alright. Oh, it'll be so nice when the air vice gets here. Just click and done. Okay. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay, here we go. Can you all see the, the mold over there? Yeah? All right. Wow. Shoot, we may have to do a video on this color, chat. I'm telling y'all what, the snow shine and that copper flake are doing some really cool stuff on on like the, you know, on the small scale spectrum there, you know, with like the, the shimmer aspect. And then you got those bright pops of gold that's really setting it off. Or, you know, from the orange. Um, wow. This is pretty cool, and I'm not a, I'm not really a chartreuse kind of guy. But you all got me... Got me going here. We'll save the close-up cam. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. Good color, chat. Awesome color. Alright, Tim is throwing out a good color in the chat. Pearl white and blue would be sick. I like that. Alright, we can do that. With the, uh, I got another cup sitting over there. Katie's in the house. What's going on, Katie? Welcome to the stream. Leprechaun Snot. Hey, Hoodstar. I like that name, man. Leprechaun Snot. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's actually a fitting name for this. This kind of chartreuse with the, the orange slash gold flecks in there. Very cool. All right, that's cooling off over there. All right. Did we run out of music again? I think we did. Okay, we got to go back over here. I really need to set up some longer playlists, you know that? There we go. Okay, I think it's time to demold. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. All right. All right. Wow. That that is uh, sparkly. I bet that's going to look super sparkly in the water. Let's see. Let's see if we can get anything up here on the close-up cam. Now, Ah, uh, see, it's really washing out the color. I don't know why the color's being washed out like that. I gotta get in and adjust the color settings. But let me see if I can at least get a, a close-up here of the... Can you see the sparkle at least? So you kind of gotta have a match. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you know, I'm, we're trying to push the limits of live streaming here, so we'll get this figured out. But that's what it looks like kind of close-up. But then if you come over to the, you know, the regular camera that where the colors properly adjusted over here, you can see it's the chartreuse effect much, much better.
No, Tim, the chart the chartreuse is here. It the chartreuse is very much here. It's a, a gold chartreuse, but the camera the cameras are not picking it up. Um, I mean, you can sort of see the neon effect on the edges here, but it's uh, again these neon colors. These are just webcams, okay? I what I need to do is take my big camera. I do have an HDMI input on this computer here. I just need to hook the big camera up for the live stream. So I will get better at that. I apologize, but this is this is what we're. Wow, but this is like the shimmer on this is that the copper flake at you know the 0.15 and the uh, the snow shine has got the shimmer factor up like at a whole different level. I mean, they look awesome. I think they look good. Oh, snatching. I need to wait for everything to get here first before I can even put the starter packs together, man. I'm still waiting for the big order to arrive. It has been placed. We are we are all in. All right, sorry, I'm just trying to get these all organized over here. All right, I do not want to delay because I would like to get the second round shot so we can move on to the other color because I don't want to keep you all super long. I like to keep this around an hour and a half. So this is the point of the stream where we are going to start to bust through real quick. We're just going to get through this next uh shoot so i can get another set of 12 grubs and then we're going to jump over to this color here which sounds like people want to do uh some blue mixed with white pearl now are we talking tim are you talking blue colorant like blue pigment dye and pearlize it or are you talking about blue flake in a white pearl uh base So let me know what your what your thoughts are on that. While I'm getting this going. That's the beauty of live chat. You all can talk amongst yourselves. Boom, boom, boom. Another 30 seconds. Oh, I thought you guys were on the bait screen. I apologize. You're staring at me. You don't need to stare at me. Good night, Johnny. Have a good one. It's been fun. <laughs> okay, so Tim is saying pearl white base with blue flake. Okay, everyone's saying flake, flake. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Johnny. Appreciate it, brother. I know it's late over on the East Coast. That's why I like to keep it rolling pretty, you know, pretty smooth here. Hey, and, and chat, did y'all get to watch the last video I posted up? What did you think of the new kind of style of video? Did you enjoy it? Kind of the overdub? Overdub style? This one got a little hot. Ah! Up around 370. It's alright. I'll still shoot it. Although I didn't have a glove on that time. That wasn't very, you know. Don't don't hate on me live chat. I didn't use a glove that time. I'm not really being Showing best practices here. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh god, look at that whole thing. Huh? Like someone just jammed it in the side of Slimer. 
Oh, I love that transparent chartreuse. That nice and topped off. All right, there we go. Okay, so now, Tim, we've singled you out, okay? Do you want me to use, like, white pearl colorant, or we can do a pure powder-based. I have Pearl X, um, I thought I had the big jars up there. Yeah, here they are. They're back here. I have the Pearl X Pearl. So we have Powder Pearl. Okay. Or we can do Pearl Colorant. So you let me know which route you would like to go. Because we have... There's regular Pearl. There's White Pearl. There's Iridescent Pearl. Silver Pearl and Gold Pearl. Basically all the different Pearls. All right, moderate amount of blue flake. All right, so white pearl. No translucency. Okay, so we're going to go super, super thick on this, huh? Okay. Moderate amount of blue flake. Okay, do you want... What size? Are we doing big flake, small flake? What do we think, chat? Well, the Pearl X, I could tell you right now, Randy, if we're doing flake, Pearl X is a powder pigment, which means it's going to block a lot of the light transmission, too. It's very opaque, so the flake might not stand out as much as if we used, like, a white pearl colorant. This is more of a finer grain pearl, um, so we can go either way. All right, Tim's saying dealer's choice. All right. All right, Tim. Careful what you wish for. Okay, I'm going to go with the royal blue. Okay, 0 0.015 royal blue. Small stuff. Um, or actually, you know, I'm going to reverse this. We're going to go sp Sparkle blue for the small. And then I will... I got to put the orange back anyways. So I will grab the... Uh, I'll grab the big blue from up here. Or the, the .04 blue. Okay. That's what we're looking at. Okay. And that's a sparkle blue. If we have to, if the sparkle blue doesn't show up, okay, I'll put the I'll put the royal blue in. All right. Okay. So we can set this to the side, and let's actually get this cooking, because that's going to take two minutes to heat that up. All right. Let's do our last demold over here. Set this aside and actually we'll get this stuff put away. Alright, we're done with the mine dust. I always encourage you you all to keep a clean workspace. You see how quickly it can get overloaded and crowded real quick. Okay. Now this trans I'll have to actually put that away later. Because I don't want to hop away up on the stool right now. Okay. That goes back there. All right. I actually need to get the cap out of this. We've never used the white pearl before, so this is actually a new one for us. So 
so I'm kind of excited to use the white pearl colorant too. All right, let's get this thrown away. Thank you again, everyone, for hanging out. We still got 36 viewers strong. That's what I'm talking about. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying the stream. Feel free to say hi and chat, drop an emoji. Any little bit of engagement helps. Let's get this demolded. Ooh, the mold's getting hot. That last pour was 370. That's why I let it cool down just a little bit longer. Okay. I'm just going to set these over here. Looks like all the tails filled out, so we're good there. All right. Let's get this all clamped up. Microwave just beeped. If you didn't hear it, we're ready to go on the next color. Let's get that all cleaned off and in the other cup. All right. Oh, yeah, this is going to need another 30 seconds or so. Very much in the heart of the gel phase right there on that one. We'll give that 30 more seconds, more time to shake up our colorants. Uh, Tim, no, I do not have a storefront yet. 8-Bit um, Baits will be the storefront. I have the website, but if you go to 8BitBaits.com right now, uh, it just it says, you know, parked by GoDaddy and whatnot. So uh, I'm in the middle of putting up a storefront. I will be selling baits in the future, and I'll be doing them in a drop style. So meaning um, I'll make baits like when we do the live stream like this, if they, we come up with an awesome color everyone likes, you know, then I can take Monday, do a big, you know, bait run, and then drop them on the website, you know, later in the week uh, kind of deal. So that's the way I'm kind of looking at it. I don't want to get into a habit of trying to constantly stock colors on the website uh, because that just, you know, I'm not in the mode of making production because then what happens is you spend all your time making baits, trying to keep up with keeping stuff in stock, assuming your business is doing well, right? Um, and then it just leaves not much time for other stuff. So, so the answer is yes, um, soon. So stay tuned. Uh, you can go to, uh, and I'm just going to squirt this in since, um, you know, we want it solid. Um, so we're kind of, we're, we're getting artsy farts here right now. That already looks pretty solid. Um, you can go to baitchucking.com if you want to support the channel. We got all the bait chucking merch. There's a ton of t-shirt designs, jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts, all different designs up there. Um, and, uh. You know, a little bit off the top of that comes back. It is a Teespring store, so, you know, Teespring gets most of it. But a little bit comes back to help out the channel. And I'll tell you what. Just that little squirt, I think, got us to where we need to be pretty solid. I mean, look at that. You can see it run off eventually. And there's text on the stir spoon there. But it's pretty solid. Just that little squirt. I'm liking where we're at with that right, just, just right out of the gate. I don't think we need much more pearl than that, huh? Okay. Let's start with the sparkle blue. And I think we're probably going to have to add in some regular small blue as well. Now, don't get me wrong. That sparkle blue licks sick AF. Okay. But we're going to need some regular blue, too. That's a beautiful background effect, though. We're going to build it. Stick with me here, okay? OK. 
Okay, now did you see what that just did? Just that little bit of blue, that one scoop of blue changed the whole structure of that. Turned it to a darker, it just went from white pearl to dark silver pearl because it's capturing all that blue light in there now. I mean, it looks awesome, but see what that did? We're not done yet. The request was a healthy amount of blue. So we want four scoops. That's double what I would normally put. Look at this. We we got some straight up Dallas Cowboys baits going on here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're down with America's team. But that's what we got. I mean, I guess if you're not Cowboys, you could probably go Detroit Lions on that. But that's that is white pearl with blue flake, and look at that dark silver we get. It's more like a silver pearl with all that blue flake in it. You said moderate. Oh, come on now. Look at that. I, dude, this looks... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. We've got some Dallas Cowboys baits going on here. That that <laughs> that white pearl went out the window the moment we added that scoop of that uh, .15 blue in. Pretty, And that just goes to show you that's crazy what blue can do. And that's, you know... That's just light reflectivity. That's, you know, because that's a uh, lure works flake that doesn't bleed. So that's just the, the light refraction, you know, all that blue light in there. You know, if it was like a Hobby Lobby glitter or something, I would question it like bleeding, but lure works doesn't bleed. And certainly not at the temperatures we're messing with right now. Right, Tim? We could add some red call up Merc. Tell you what, though, we are going to have to vacuum this out. Oh, these are going to look choice, though. Oh, I do have a sip of energy drink left. Mm. Love this stuff. Not sponsored, but hey. I mean, you know, NOS, if you, you know, if you're looking for a bait maker, I mean, right here. Okay, oh, oh, we're getting to the bubble stage just as I thought. We got some bubbles. Are we going to go up and over? Mm, mm, mm. Yep, oh, I had to purge it. Had to purge it. Had to purge it. Anytime you add that much, that much glitter in, we added a lot of glitter. I might have gone over on the glitter, but I mean, you know. Right, Tim? See, Tim, you and I, we're on a wavelength tonight, Tim. It's you and me, baby, all right? The other 37 people are just here. All right, we got lots of bubbles going over there now. We're doing good. <clears throat> oh, I know, Cowboys, Niners, but hey, my Niners are looking good, Randy. Well, hopefully they're your Niners, too. I mean, you're, you're, you're nearby here. Oh, Brock Purdy's looking real good. Oh, we got a couple drips over. 
See, once you really start to get up to the... Uh, oh, there it goes. Son of a... Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is why we vacuum. I mean, it sucks, but this is why we vacuum. This is... Uh... Mm. I might have gone a little crazy with the glitter on this one, ladies and gentlemen. We're at negative 30 pounds of pressure over here. I know you're. I know you can't see much. I don't have a, a camera over the vacuum chamber. Okay, so um, the people just joining us now are wondering what the heck are we staring at over here? Well, we're, I'm staring at Plasasol in the vacuum chamber waiting for the bubbles to go down which I think we're good now but we did have a little bit of spillage okay all right let's get this out of the chamber not terrible it wasn't terrible just one little All right, we'll make sure to scrape the edges. Get this back in the microwave one last time. We'll get it heated up. And then we will inject and see what these cowboy grubs look like. All right. 20 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Yeah, see, we are already at that 90-minute mark, so we'll get these shot up. All right. Oh, no, is there, a, is there an argument breaking out in the chat over which energy drink is good or not good? NOS is about the only one I drink. It's the only one that... Tastes good to me. I've been drinking NOS for years. It's an old one. I feel like NOS is one of the OGs at this point. And I think NOS might have been around before Monster. Now that I'm thinking about it, like I'm going, I'm going back to high school now. Can't remember back that far. But all the other Gen Xers I know love drinking NOS, so maybe it was just a thing back then. Okay. This needs more time on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Another 20. Too chunky for my liking. Hey, Katie, I like that. We should do that. We should make a... You know why? Because I have white flake. I actually have, from Lureworks, white colored glitter. So we could do a blue bait with white glitter, white and orange glitter. That I think we, we got next week's live stream right there. We're going to color match NOS. Maybe that could even be a video. so much content i have folks i have so many content ideas planned for the channel uh i've just been i've been talking a lot with my my friend robin i think she's going to start helping me produce some videos we're talking about like meeting up for one week out of the month and just jamming out on a bunch of content yeah I, i'm I've, lots of good plans for the channel moving forward here we go dallas cowboy baits white pearl with way too much blue glitter moderate aka hefty amount of blue glitter
looks good though. All, all vacuumed out. The silver looks like that goop from the Terminator movie. You know, in Terminator 2 when he, or Terminator 3 was it? No, it's 2, right? Where he turns into the silver goo. That was that was Terminator 2. Right? Fuck, I forget. It was Judgment Day, wasn't it? The one with the silver, the liquid Terminator. Either way, you know what I'm getting at. There it is on the injector. See what I mean? It was Terminator 2. Thank you, Frank. It was the T2000. That's right. It was the second gen model. Nas Energy Drinks came out in the early 90s, according to Corey. Well, that would make sense, because that's when I was in high school. Oh, completely missed it. Did you see that? It just bounced all over. There's our puck. See what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's like a solid silver. That pearl just turned silver from all that blue light. That's crazy. I'm anxious to see what these look like, y'all. Yeah, we're going to have to let that cup clean up so I can get all the stuff off the outside of it. I mean, I'm just saying. It could work. Little belly color over here with the silver and blue. Little back color with the chartreuse and orange. It could work. You never know. Juno only drinks beer when making baits. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Here we go. How many people we got in the chat? 48. That's what I'm talking about. Smash that thumbs up button for the reveal. Here we go. White pearl with an extra moderate amount of blue flake. Here we go. Hey, that's not too shabby at all. Huh? That's not shabby at all. Let's look over here at the main camera. Look at that. Actually, I wonder how this looks under the close up cam. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. There you go. Here's a real good look at it. Awesome. It does have that monkey milk vibe to it, doesn't it? Focus now. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm digging that. A little transparency in the tail. Here, let me get the a lot of them off here. Okay. 
just organizing them here in my hand. We have something to look at. Look at that! I think that turned out real good. I mean, it's definitely bait fish colors. I mean, that's going to reflect a ton. You can see it. You know, all that light reflection and the color changing here in the camera. Awesome. Translucent in the tail. That's really cool stuff. I like these a lot. I really like these a lot. Okay, we got 45 viewers in chat. Now, normally I would shut the stream off because we're super late. However, I need to see some some votes. Throw a throw a one, throw a one in the chat <clears throat> if you want to see me dual inject one of the big 7.6 inch whip wads with the uh, with the two of these. I need to see a lot of ones in the chat. Because I'll do it. We can dual inject. I'll heat them both up. We'll go for it. If you want to see a lamination, I got to see a screen of ones in the chat, though. We need thumbs up and ones in the chat. Because I'll, I'll let you go. But I don't want to keep you all unless unless you want to be here. So I got I to gotta see some ones in the chat. Okay, there we go. All right, Randy's throwing up some emotes over there. Okay, okay. All right. Let's do it then. Let's get that going. So we need... giant mold though now I gotta remember what the heck I did with the mold I got so many molds is it that I put it away up here I probably put it away I was just using it yeah here it is I put it away like I was supposed to here it is it's right here relax everybody calm down okay slots ready to go belly to the left back to the right let's get this all set up all right, all right. let's see how this is gonna look here get just transferred over to the bait station here switch these out okay. that's at 340 but we got a lot of chunks in there still you see that so we're just going to stir this a little bit while the other cup's heating up. Try and break some of those chunks up. Okay. I think this is going to look real good. Appreciate everyone hanging out. 42 people still hanging out. Right on. 
Oh yeah, Corey, Red Bull was the first, right? Red Bull gives you wings. Red Bull tastes like the little, the Smarties candies, you know? You get for Halloween every year. If someone took the Smarties candies and like put it in liquid form, that's what I think Red Bull tastes like. Ha ha ha, look at that. We're 340 over there. We dropped down quite a bit over here. 315. We're just doing the balancing game real quick. Okay, this is all liquid. We're here at 330. So I think if we can get this out, and it's right about 3.30, 3.40, I think we might be good here. Yes, look at that. We're at 3.45 over there, 3.38 over here. Couldn't ask for much better. All right. Belly left, back right, okay. So we're going to shoot it just like that. Dual injector. We're good. Lubricated. I did my job last time before I put it away. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera there. It happens. What the heck? Oh no! I was just boasting about doing my job! That is called instant karma. I did not do my job. Because look at that. That is a huge epic fail. Live on stream. <clears throat> Hard to use your dual injector when it's full. No, wait a minute. What the? Well, that's that's a first. It dried up before it even got out of the. That plastic was 200 or 340 degrees, rather. Wow. What the? Okay, okay. So I did my job, but goodness gracious. Okay, we're going to have to attempt that again. Did any plastisol get in there? I can't even tell. Some got in there. Well, from what little bit we got so far, I, <laughs> I think it's going to look cool. Um, that just sucks that, uh, hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's try that again, huh? That is a huge bummer. What the? It happens. Back together there. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. This is, you know, hey, we're doing it live. This is part of what happens sometimes. Okay. I already tell you we want it this way. Belly on the left, back on the right. All right. Well, let's clean out our injectors and attempt this one last time. You can see down there, though, that the... Uh, I mean, that laminate's going to look good. 
I think it's gonna look good. Well, the triple I understand there, uh, kicker. You definitely need to heat up that that block for sure. I ran into that right away, first time I ever tried my triple. Um, yeah. Mm. Well, I'm sorry y'all had to see that. That's quite embarrassing. Let's heat that back up. Oh, I know, Kicker. Yeah, the, the blending block is def was definitely the failure point on that one. I don't have my uh, heater block. Like, it's not turned on at the moment, and it's just tucked away back in the corner. So, it's all right. It, it happens. It was cold. I was doing it on a whim. You know, I was like, oh, let's just damn dual inject this real quick. I appreciate everyone sticking around and hanging out. We'll get through it. We're still holding 44 strong, and that's what matters the most. I appreciate everyone hanging out, participating in chat. All right, into the woods. Take it easy. Yeah, come back tomorrow. Check it out. I know it's getting late. That's why I want to try and wrap this up real quick. Get an injection for everybody. And everyone can go have a good Sunday evening. Get a good night's sleep. I hope everybody's football team won this weekend. I'm so happy it's football season. Love me some 49ers. Alright. Just as I suspected. We're still a little chunky in here. Gotta get these heated up a little more. Five seconds on the clock. Let's go. Uh oh, Heather, what happened? Did your football team not win? I'm sorry. Forget I said anything about football. <laughs> oh, Tim, no, it's a. Um, it's not. A, I mean, it happens, right? It's just sometimes your your blending block is too cold. It's just you know goofs up the whole routine that's all you're just like oh no because i literally i went to shoot and it pfft, it stopped right away i was like what i think it's why a lot of folks purge first i don't like to purge i just like to get on there and shoot um i feel like purging the system trying to like tilt up get the air bubbles and everything out or tilt you know go through the block i, I just feel like that has you know more chance of causing bubbles than trying to eliminate the bubbles you know okay well that's piping hot okay what are we at over here we're at 350 on that side and we're like super hot over here on this side we got to get this side to come down a little bit we're at like 370 over there oof see we're at 345 which is right about where we want to be I could shoot this you know with it being a little bit hotter but I don't know let's see, let's see here we got to get some music going again there we go there we go all right let's give this a shot here we go one more time huh 7.6 inch 
Whip wad. We can do it. There we go. There it is. There we go. I think this is going to be an awesome... This is going to have like a sexy shad vibe to it, I'm telling you, with the blue and the chartreuse. I love it. Perfect music to take us out to, isn't it? Oh yeah. Look at that blending block. Hmm? I think this is gonna look good. Yep, there it goes. It sucks down. Thank goodness for the long sprues on this mold because these these babies like to drink. Alright, that mold was super cold. It's getting late. And you all want to get out of here. Are we ready for this? Let me see some hype in the chat. Here we go. 7.6 inch epic whip wad. Oh yeah. Look at those bad boys, huh? Look at that. Beautiful. Chartreuse pearl, orange flake on the top, white pearl, blue on the bottom. Oh, there's two of them. We got a second one going. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Awesome. All right, everybody. It's late. It's almost nine o'clock. I got to go. I hope you all have a wonderful week coming up. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Make sure to tell somebody you love them. And until next time, you all know who it is friend on this end, Michael out here around these Delta Slews, reminding you to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you. <laughs>